the officials Hugh Evans, Ron Elysiak, and Scott Foster. Well, talking with Pat Riley yesterday, you got the feeling that he was concerned about his team taking a sigh of relief after accomplishing a goal that kind of snuck up on them, and that was winning the Atlantic Division title. Alan Houston over a Sean Leonard, and a foul is called. The pick, Oakley setting it up for Ewing. Ewing on the recovery. Hardaway with a good lead for P.J. Brown. Pete Thomas eventually uh, traded. P.J. Brown spent his first three years with the New Jersey Nets. Alan Houston, the opening up with Oakley matching against Morning. Nice pass. Johnson is blocked. Johnson is blocked and foul. He blocked the 33 on so Morning. That's for 20 of his game high 34, and the Bulls want it down the stretch. Here's Brown. Nice lead pass from Leonard. Uh, that has meant we've seen him more and more out of the uh, perimeter. Here's Johnson. Larry Johnson giving the Knicks a 7 4 lead. Morning. Nice play by Mashburn, able to show his quickness in getting to that loose ball. A little bit sleeker, a little bit quicker to take advantage of maybe get it down about 240 pounds. Charles Oakley, who has been hitting the jumper. We're just underway in Miami. A pretty look. Morning finding Brown. Ewing leaving the man alone underneath. Well, as you mentioned earlier, they work out together at Georgetown. Ewing with a reverse. Well, the front by Morning, Charles Oakley, not good enough. Good help by Patrick Ewing to come, but then no further weak side help as P.J. Brown left alone. And this is what Alonzo Morning does not want to see and really didn't get surprised by it. Patrick Ewing, bad knees at all, just showed a tremendous amount of quickness to blow by Alonzo Morning. But the Knicks get back. Mashburn with the shot. Miami down by one. Well, the Miami Heat rarely run a play for P.J. Brown. His job is to pick up opportunity baskets, like in transition. Patrick Ewing too slow getting back. Rotation too slow on the pick and roll. And on the front attempt on the post up of Alonzo Mourning, uh, P.J. Brown found the little opening. This guy's here to play defense. He plays it very well on the ball, one of the best in the league. He will make the jump shot, but has trouble when you crowd him as far as beating people off the dribble, and he will turn the ball over if you get up in his face. Well, Wallace got picked off, and it, it ended up as an open shot for Mashburn. Uh, 95, dramatically reduced his body fat. He's been an important player off the bench, and particularly with Alonzo Mourning out of action. Houston with the save. And Wallace able to feed it to Child. And a good feed by John Wallace. Instead of putting that ball up in the air and letting Childs run under him, he gave the ball right away where he could do something with it. Brown on the follow. With 14 points in all. Allen Houston. And that will count as a goal 10. So Houston gets credit for the field goal. He's giving it to them at their end on the offensive glass. The Knicks have a one-point lead. Beautiful touch by Leonard Gray. The Heat 16, the Knicks 15. Here's Houston. A three for Allen Houston off to the fast start. Ninth seems to be the the benchmark for the Knicks. That's when they beat the Bulls at the Garden. Foul is called on Wallace. Has the fourth best record in the NBA. Have an outstanding road record and have won three in a row on the road. As for Sean Leonard, that's something that he doesn't do too often. To do. Well, Miami just looking to stay playoff ready. They have already clinched. Oh, that's a that's a goal ten. It's a three-point shot. That's unbelievable. Have you ever seen a three-point shot on a goal ten? Nice move by Ewing. And the foul. Patrick Ewing with the spin. And a rare move recently to see Ewing take it uh, to the basket uh, with authority, and he'll go to the line. Uh. Well, what Patrick Ewing is doing to the smaller and slimmer P.J. Brown is almost using him as a post. Keith Askins has come on for the first time. Askins with the rebound. It counts. And the foul. 
they mentioned. He was a runaway coach of the year last year. It is never mentioned, and that is unbelievable. Also, Lenny Wilkins has done a fine job with the Atlanta Hawks, who are creeping up into that number three spot in the Eastern Conference. Off the scramble, Childs on the recovery. Signs of coming out of it against the Bulls the other night. Nice pass and a foul. Buck Williams on the floor for the first time. Game. The Nick lead is four as this first quarter winds down. Hardaway showing the soft touch. Shot. The Knicks lead by two. Hardaway putting the moves on Childs and drew the foul. Now he is just short, as you saw, of three to one. Pass to down court headed by Childs in these final seconds, and Buck Williams not able to put it down. Big pass from Childs off the glass, but the Knicks not able to score, and after one, the game tied at, at 28. Allen Houston with nine, and P.J. Brown with eight to lead the way for their respective teams. Back in Miami in a moment, you're watching the NBA on NBC. Ahmad Rashad back at the Miami Arena now. Everybody knows that Pat Riley has this town going crazy about the Miami Heat, but when it comes to fans, the New York fans do not take a back seat. Proven, here is Jeffrey from Woodbury, Long Island, and today's your 11th birthday? Yes, it is! Well, a happy birthday. I see you got all your stuff on, and yep. you're here. Who's your favorite player? John Starks. And you are a real dyed in the wool Nick fan, right? Oh, yeah. So now, how did you get, you see, if you look at the braces real close, they're the Nick colors in the braces. Oh, yeah. I, Go Knicks. You had your dentist do that. What? You had your dentist do that. Oh, yeah. That's yep. you. I'm a real big Marv Albert fan. See, during the summer, I put his initials in the back of my head. I do. I do. Enjoy yourself, all right? Okay. All right, back to you, Marv. Larry Johnson is back. Here comes John Starks leading Buck Williams, who beat the Heat down, but Austin back to recover and came up with the rejection. Here's Leonard for three. Rashad Leonard has been on fire from downtown for games. And for the year, among the leaders in that department, Larry Johnson is pushed, and he'll go to the line. Now, this is not the Western Conference breaking out here, but two teams who normally play it pretty cozy, pretty conservative, getting out and running as much as possible. Although Ike Austin was late, he got back and made the play. And then on the transition play, Sean Leonard, who has been shooting the three-point shot very, very well. Toronto on March 30th. Shot clock at three. Nice move by Hardaway to beat Ward. Here's Ward. Well, Charlie Ward able to break the streak. Pat Riley in the Miami Heat. No question. Uh, Pat Riley was uh, Charlie's coach. Austin getting inside. And Miami leads by three. Of course, uh, if you're a rookie trying to break into the league, you may not uh, have that understanding. And Larry Johnson able to show the outside touch. So the Knicks now trail by one. And it uh, seems that uh, since Pat Riley went to Miami, as Hardaway hits the three. Charlie Ward has had a number of outstanding games. Buck Williams, Charles Oakley, and Larry Johnson now up front. John Starks recovering on that dribble. Charlie Ward knocks down the three. They double up on Ward. New England Williams and Johnson up front. And Patrick Ewing with his third field goal. It's just incredible. 31 and 9. That's the sixth best in the history of the NBA. Ewing getting inside on morning. Austin. Crowd wanted a, a foul there. 24 second violation. Now Patrick Ewing laboring a bit on some achy knees. Not really showing any signs of it today. Very quick with his foot movement. Just blowing by Alonzo Mourning into the lane. And then overpowering and spinning on P.J. Brown. And once again. Spin on morning and then overpowering Alonzo Morning one more time as Patrick Ewing all business in the paint. And again, the Knicks uh, staying away from the matchup of Ewing and Morning, although Ewing had to pick him up in his call for the foul. But that sequence began with Buck Williams defending against Alonzo Morning. 
Leonard off the spin. Nice move by Vashon Leonard. Mashburn played by Johnson. Hardaway lost it. Johnson with Williams back. And here's Buck Williams rejected by Morning. Kind of a backhanded rejection. Ball forced him to do something else, and Patrick mishandled. Here's Brown. P.J. Brown getting the good luck. He's five of six. Taking his job as head coach and president of this club very seriously. Uh, not exactly twiddling his thumbs right. uh, by the beach. Just under two minutes remaining first half. Askins passed on the shot. Here's Austin. A kick out, and those are good rhythm shots for the perimeter players. There's a nice block shot and a timeout by Larry Johnson. Good hustle play. Larry Johnson with an outstanding play, the block, and then able to make the save. And a, a good timeout call at this point with a minute 22 remaining in the half. And uh, the Knicks did have a 20-second timeout. Now they change it to a full. We'll be right back. Ewing played by Austin. And through the foul, the push. A half minute left in the second quarter. Austin. And the foul is called. Left in the half. The Heat up by one. Houston looking for the shot and tied up. Beautiful play by Hardaway. The Lakers and the Knicks. That's why this job he has done here with Miami is really remarkable. Askins with the catch. And the shot is blocked by Ewing. So at the half, it's the Heat 46 and the Knicks 45. Look at the, uh, the matchup of the point guards. Child seven points, just one assist. Hardaway, 10 points and three assists. Ewing, the high man with 11. Leonard leading with 12 for Miami. Back in a moment. He in his 15 minutes in the first half, only one point. Here's Mashburn for three. Well, Jamal Mashburn is four is of being a dominant player, but uh, Riley would like to see him cut down on some of those one for nines and uh, two for thirteens that have taken place. It counts in the foul. Look at the uh, numbers through the uh, first half. Patrick Ewing, four of seven, 11 points, and mentioned morning with only one. The block by, by Johnson, although we have not seen morning and Ewing match up against each other to this point. Charles Oakley with his second field goal. On him, we're fronting him, and it's been tough to get the ball inside the morning. Sean Leonard. Two minutes gone by in the third. Ewing with the fake. Brown was looking for a, a traveling violation instead of foul on morning. In this area, transplanted the uh, New York area people, and uh, when the Knicks come to town, crowd looking for a foul on, on the Knicks on that shot attempt by Leonard. Usually, the Knicks have a very large contingent on hand. In fact, it's annoyed the Miami players. Alonzo Mourning spoke out about it, uh, earlier this season, but it has not been the case today with the success of the Heat. Morning with his first field goal. There is Patrick Ewing with the right idea, but a little too slow in the execution. That's a dangerous pass. Allen Houston. Is that a solid ball game? Mashburn for three. The Heat not hitting the uh, three-pointers today. Oh, but Sean Leonard somehow coming out of the pack with the ball. They're battling for playoff position. Tied with Atlanta. Detroit and Charlotte very much in the mix. Ewing, 6.45 remaining in the third. Here's Leonard. Looked like Ewing got a piece of it. Ewing off the fake, gives it up to Johnson. Ashburn goes flying on that fake, and Johnson was fouled. So Larry Johnson headed to the line, timeout taken with 6.22 remaining in the third. Hardaway will continue to take them, or if they're not going, he'll then start to take the ball to the basket and make something happen there. Patrick Ewing. Clock running down, and Brown drew the foul. It's at uh, Minnesota, Charlotte home for Washington. Tomorrow, Detroit is home for Chicago, and uh, we'll be there to bring it to you. And Mashburn handling. Hardaway 
puts the move on Childs, and then Childs picked it off. Particularly with Brown picking up a fourth. Here's Childs for three. Yes. Well, you can hear the uh, Nick portion of the crowd reacting. Chris Childs from downtown, and the Knicks have opened up a six-point lead. The Heat calling for time. You're watching the NBA on NBC. He goes with this smaller lineup, Jamal Mashburn as the big forward. So far, Jeff Van Gundy staying with his starting lineup. So we'll get a first-hand look tomorrow as they face the Chicago Bulls. They've lost four straight. Hardaway hits the three. Now he gets uh, resorting to the flip shots, and that's why his percentage is down. Well, Hardaway picking it up here. Uh, just a moment ago, hitting that, uh, drilling that jump shot. Uh, Tim Hardaway had 10 points in the first half, and usually that's a lot for him. He usually lets his teammates get more offensive opportunities, and then he picks it up late in the game as he has saved so many games for this Miami Heat team. In New York, and uh, that clinched it for the Heat when the Knicks were beaten by the Bulls. And Chris Childs hits a three. Johnson met by Askins. Larry Johnson getting inside. He has 11. Overpowering him to the hoop. Askins pass picked off by Houston. And Childs is fouled. I think the Knicks would like to get more and more post-up opportunities for Larry Johnson when he catches tight to the lane or two feet in the paint where he can out-muscle some people because Larry Johnson still does not have that lift, the explosiveness that he seemed to have when he came into the league with the Charlotte Hornets. Uh, Chris Childs had a, a good statistical game against the Bulls the other night. 12 points, 12 assists, picking it right up here. Three for three from downtown, shooting the ball very from the perimeter and playing very much under control. Well, Alan Houston and Chris Childs have uh, come up with outstanding performances. Here's Houston. Yes. The sprained wrist uh, certainly uh, took its toll, but uh, seems to be affected and uh, seems at times as Austin gets inside. Shot clock is down to three. Houston to the fadeaway. Alan Houston has 19. 10 seconds, and uh, Childs lost it off his foot. Here's Hardaway. Ripping it behind the back for Austin. What a play by Hardaway. Final seconds of the quarter. The next by nine. Houston with that deceptive move off the dribble. No, it won't count. I tell you, that was awfully close. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get another look at it. The Knicks complaining. All right, here's a look at it. Now keep an eye on the uh, red light up by the, the shot clock area behind the backboard if you can see a red light. And that red light, oh boy. Wow, that's it. A... <laughs> doesn't get any closer than that. Ron Elisiak making the call. That one could have gone either way. So after three, the Knicks 75, Miami 66. We'll be back after these messages and a word from your local station. Ball, but uh, Ron did see it from our angle. Uh, we were uh, certainly uh, wavering, you might say. <laughs> and Betty has 11. They're up here by eight. Nice pass from Starks to set it up for Ewing. And a jump ball. Morning and Williams involved in some pushing and shoving. And Buck wants some more. Buck Williams went right back. He did not, did not appreciate it. Now Morning being kept aside. Oakley is pushed from behind by Morning, and Oakley being held back by uh, by Brown. Pat Riley very quick to uh, get into it. Charles Oakley was being held by P.J. Brown, and then Brown and Ewing shove each other. And the assistant coaches on the floor trying to uh, keep players apart. This started between Buck Williams 
And Alonzo Mourning and Buck was unhappy about something. I don't know, perhaps this goes back to a, a, a prior incident because Buck kept coming at Mourning. Well, I think a lot of it stems from the frustration on the part of Alonzo Mourning, who's having a nightmare of, the ga of a game, just one for four from the field, not really getting involved in this thing. And then when he picked up that fifth personal foul, thought it was a flop on Charles Oakley, upset with the officials, and then the contact with Buck Williams and the extra shoving. Off on the weak side, here's Buck Williams and Alonzo Mourning, and then Buck's arm getting caught over the shoulder of Alonzo Mourning, and then Mourning shoving Buck away, and that made Buck came back saying, hey, don't be throwing your elbow at me, but Charles Oakley is always the intriguing one in these situations. He hates to have anybody put their hands on him and generally overreacts. Let's uh, listen to that. Now we need to pick. Opposing coaches will pick the jumpers because they have a jump ball situation. He picks from the bench here. He picks from the bench there. And then that's what we're going to do. That's it. Well, Robert, lazy, eh? Telling the official score that Buck Williams and Alonzo Mourning have been ejected. Here's the announcement on the public address. So technicals on both Buck Williams and Alonzo Mourning, and, and both have been ejected. Well, because Buck Williams and Alonzo Mourning were both ejected, the opposing coaches are able to choose who would go on the jump ball. John Cuddy comes on for the first time, selected by Jeff Van Gundy and Scott Hudson <laughs> by Pat Riley. And they'll, it's a do-over. And a swing and a miss. <laughs> The crowd and both benches enjoying that jump controlled by Miami. Oakley off the fake. Oakley with a series of moves that you will rarely see. <laughs> Set off by Alonzo Morning and Buck Williams having words and pushing and shoving. Charles Oakley trying to get, get into it. He was held from behind by P.J. Brown. Both Williams and Morning were ejected. Now, a moment ago, Charles Oakley going to the spin on Ike Austin and able to hit off glass. We'll be back in a moment. The heat getting back. Ward. Charlie Ward is blocked by Isaac Austin. Austin from Hardaway. Good luck from Tim Hardaway. My break, looking for things to develop, looking for openings, momentarily had the shot, and by drawing Patrick Ewing out on him, that left a gaping hole in the lane for Ike Austin to finish off the play. Seven minutes to go in this fourth quarter. Houston fell down and lost it. Three on one, left by Mashburn. Hardaway rejected by Starks. What a play by John Starks. And uh, they have words face-to-face -face following the block. Starks try to play it down now. as uh, gave a little friendly tap to Hardaway. Well, it is, means so much more to them because they are still battling others, including Atlanta, as Charlie Ward finishes off for third spot in the Eastern Conference, whereas Miami has their position all sewn up. And the Knicks off the floor. To greet John Starks and Charlie Ward. Timeout called by the Heat. This is Square Garden over these last uh, month or so. Off the turnover. Here comes Mashburn. Well, the Knicks have lost four of the last five at home. Mashburn all the way. And it's an offensive foul. A charge on Jamal. Mashburn by as many as 11. 18th turnover by the Knicks. Here's Austin. Yes. And the Knicks call for time. Chicago next Saturday night. That'll be seen here on NBC. Oakley with the save on that rebound. And the Knicks regroup. Starks fires. Yes. John Starks, two on the 24. The inbounds for Austin. He blew the stuff. Someone missed an assignment, and the Knicks fortunate. 
Austin not able to hit. Here's Starks. Oh, was that costly for Miami? His knees right now as he got banged when he challenged that dunk attempt by Ike Austin. Foul on Childs. Oh, back pick on Patrick Ewing to set up this opening for Austin, but Ewing recovers and not only challenged the shot, but really bopped Austin. But at the end of the play, John Starks with his second consecutive field goal to put a little space between the Knicks and the Heat. Goal uh, plays in the fourth quarter with uh, Morning and Buck Williams getting ejected. Ewing call for the charge. Off the ejection and the fact that Tim Hardaway has not uh, been able to hit. Oakley on the follow draws the foul at Orlando. 3.20 to go in the fourth. Hardaway going glass. Knicks now lead 85 77. And Jeff Van Gundy, on the other hand, he just wants to see his team play like this with this kind of emotion, this kind of intensity, night in and night out, no matter what floor they're on. And the foul on Austin. Go, go to get a feel for this New York Knicks team. Austin. And the Knicks now lead 87 to 79. Well, they play poorly as uh, the up and down ways have have thrown in the past. Leonard fires the three. And this one is certainly not in the books for the Knicks. Miami is within five with 2.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. Timeout called by Jeff Van Gundy time of 8 o'clock Eastern right here on NBC. Larry Johnson helping out against the pressure. Patrick Ewing. Ewing with 23. The paint. That one is probably his longest shot of the afternoon. Leonard is blocked by Ewing. Ewing with the save. Starks for three coming up short but it's caught by Ewing. Shot clock running down and Ewing draws the foul. Well, backcourt pressure by the Miami Heat looking for a turnover. Larry Johnson does a nice job of forcing the issue at least to attack the basket, and that drew the defense inside. And Patrick Ewing coming up huge on the block shot by Vashon, uh, on uh, Vashon Leonard and saving the balls. Giving the Knicks a nine-point lead. Mashburn is fouled. On the hands of Larry Johnson to let him make decisions, let him make plays. Whoops. Whoa, not like that. Normally a good decision maker, but not that time, and it leads to the bucket by Hardaway. Now to a five-point Nick lead. Miami coming with pressure. Coming up on a minute remaining. Stark setting it up for Oakley, and he is fouled. Hit from behind. That'll send Oakley to the line. Been a big part of their game, but just six for 23. Oh, Oakley reaching in for the steal. Starks is fouled by Leonard. Just under one minute to go in the fourth. Leonard for three. Yes! The Nick lead is down to five. They put the press on Childs, and a foul is called. Gunning for win number 60. Trailing here now, 96-89. 40 seconds left. Mashburn fouled. For, for some of those misses on three-point shots. Many of them challenge. It's intercepted by Mashburn. The inbounds from Oakley picked off, but Mashburn not able to convert, and then Oakley lost it. Another break for the Heat. Stepped in on Hardaway. All right, here's Hardaway looking. He was looking for the three. Couldn't find it. Pitches it back to Austin. Here's the three. Now they say it two. He had the foul. See that a two auto breakaway. So they get the bucket right back and lead by five. Ten seconds remaining. Hardaway for three. What a shot. He caught it and right on the air got it up. It's not a two-point game. Six seconds to go, and Miami gives the foul. Wild finish. The Knicks have led by as many as 11, but Miami hanging in. I think Pat Riley believes what he's saying. <laughs> a rare smile for Pat Riley under these circumstances. Foot on the line by Ike Austin, but nobody getting back on defense. Smart play that time by New York, taking advantage of what Miami was going to do as far as pressure, and Tim Hardaway struggling from downtown. All 
game long. This one, the catch in the air and the release as he finally gets one to drop. So the Knicks by four. And here's Hardaway. He'll be looking for the three and looking to draw the foul. Here it is, Hardaway. He hits it with one tenth of a second remaining. The Knicks escape with the victory.